This is a video from the past. What is happening in it is we have this setup with a bit beefier motors and stuff. This mount, I didn't have a vertical, a horizontal mount, but I made a mount for the discus. This thing, it's like a universal mount. It kind of has this circular holder so that you can like stick a lens there. And then there's a hole that a zip tie goes through. So I could basically zip tie any camera on top of that. So I have this camera like here, zip tied on top this way for it to work because at the time I didn't have my horizontal mount but we're I still have to make this piece like you see how this protection I have to put it here and because like see this when it takes a hit from on top there's a rubber on top and here if it takes a hit on top it's gonna hit the uh, board so I might design some more oh why is it not in focus that's better so uh, yeah when it hits the board I don't want to hit the top so I might make a little bit more protection on top we'll have to see about that but yeah this is just a old video from the past let's do a talkie talk on it okay here we go so this is yes some footage from before I thought that I used it but perhaps I didn't and basically what I do is I record videos I make either like a edit or a talkie talk and then I delete all the footage and take the final video and put it in a folder for 2004 complete. And that's how I keep myself organized. So all this f extra footage that I have on my computer, I'm trying to get all these videos out so I can delete them and have more space. Yes. Yeah, also this, I believe, was in the cold. Like, it was pretty cold, so it wasn't getting the greatest flight times, but I'm on 1504s, the brother hobbies. I like them. They're smooth. They sound nice. And I'm just ripping around the park a couple of minutes on a colder battery. <laughs> My wife is also looking at me and rolling her eyes like, don't people have anything better to do than listen to you? Rarrr. Ah, uh, <laughs> which distracts me and makes this harder. Uh, but we can't, we can't let anyone, you know, if you want to be a YouTuber, you be a YouTuber, you know. Don't worry about people putting you down or negativity. You just keep flying, keep grinding, keep going at it. Yes, because that, that's how you do it. Mama, no copyright sounds. None. Turn them off. Oh my goodness. Sorry about that brief interruption the wife just loves to listen to copyright free sounds or uh, just things you know that i'll get a copyright strike for if uh they're heard by the microphone oh this just throws your whole frame of concentration away anyways <laughs> no it's not topless lady it's tarzan uh, and uh now my whole drain of rot is like thrown away, but I don't want to do this again, so everyone's gonna have to hear it. And it's just, this is another one of those videos that like, uh, I don't care about this video, it shouldn't do well. The video before this video should do well, because I put a lot of effort into that one, but it only got like a couple hundred views. And then this, this one probably is gonna get way more because I don't care about it, and that's just how it is, and then I'm just like, you know what, I probably shouldn't even put this video up, but then I'm just like, you know what, what happens if I put this stupid video up and then everyone starts watching it, right? So that's the curse of YouTube once again. And this is, yeah, this is last summer, but you can like see and hear the weight of this drone that is kind of like, yeah, lug around a bit, but it, it's, uh, this is probably my favorite drone. Or it was until the one that I just built, which you're gonna see probably tomorrow. I, uh, yeah, so this is more heavy, and it has the, it's a Mamba stack with the M6000, and then the one that I built is Rush F7, with, I, this might be an F7 too, I'm not sure, but I flew them back to back, and I was just like the, I really like the other one, and I really like this one, they both fly really, really good, this one just, I've smacked it around quite a bit, so the motors are getting to the point where I had to change one, so I did, and there's another one I probably should change, but it's just, if it still flies decently, I, like, I'll fly the motors until 
what what starts happening is when your motors get bad, even if they can fly, you'll notice like your battery voltage going from like 3.9 to like 3.5 super quickly. So if you feel like your batteries are just dying super fast, it might not be your batteries, it might be your motors that are just kind of going on you. So then you have to go to the computer and spin them and listen for like shaking. And if it's like shaking or vibrating within that motor, then you know it's time to change that motor. But if it's just light, it, you can still fly fine and it doesn't affect the voltage, then yeah. This uh, guy saw me at the park. He was like, ooh, cool. And I told him about FPV and gave him my card. So always have uh, business cards ready and be ready to hustle, you know? Huh? <laughs> my pitch is always like, hi, my name's Matthew and I'm a hairdresser. So if you need a hairdresser, a pet reptile, or want to learn how to fly drones and stuff, I'm your dude. The wife shakes her head once again. Um, yeah, motors. So, yeah, if you just go to Betaflight Motor Tab, and you plug in your motors, you can, like, spin them one at a time with the props off, of course. And this, you actually need the props off so that you can, like, feel vibrations. So you don't want to put it at full speed for a long time, but, you, like, you just go to top speed for, like, each motor just for a little bit. And you'll hear the way that a nice motor spins. It's just nice and smooth. And then if you... Do it and you feel that through somewhere through that like range there's like shaking or vibrating that could be like telling you that it's time to change the motor bit so that it keeps your uh your flying good like even with the other one that i had it was desyncing when i did power loops it was funny because like rolls it's fine but if i did a power loop it would desync and that's why i had to go pro 10 on it so i have to redo the whole like, put it in a new case and all of that. But the, uh, MEPS motors, yeah, they're, co they're coming along. We're gonna do a video about that. But the 1404 motors feel really good. They feel really powerful, the uh, MEPS ones. They feel a lot more powerful than the Happy Model ones. So it doesn't, like, like, with the Happy Model ones, they're super efficient. But the MEPS ones, they're actually 2 grams heavier. But they're also just... They feel really nice. They don't... They feel maybe not as good as the 1504s do, but they feel kind of like something in between. Like, they didn't feel underpowered, where with the 1404 Happy models, they fly forever, but they don't feel as powerful. Which is interesting, because you're adding 4 grams of weight to the drone, so you wouldn't think it's as powerful. But we're getting close to the end of the video. Make sure you uh, smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed, what the heck's wrong with you?